Okay, coming down from Ju summit of Juvu Sun past Upper Kantaiji, we're now reaching sort of the more lower Kantaiji or the more modern one. This is the gate or main entrance to this particular part of the complex. Now I'd say this would be considerably younger than the upper complex. I would be dating this back to probably 150, 200 years old. But um, During the weekend you can come up here and have a cup of tea in the cafeteria. Even got a nice picnic area and toilet. The um, very popular this area, very popular indeed. Let's give you a look around. During the weekend, a lot of people come through here. Um, either hiking their way through or there's a special little wee course here you can do. Every year, Buddhists, priests and monks from throughout the Kyoto prefectural region come up here for an annual retreat. You can also come up here once a year and take yoga classes if you want to for three or four days. Just want to take you around the back to show you a nice little view that we can have over the back. No, Kurt, that's not an abandoned shed. One of the caretakers of this property during the weekend or holiday season he puts up a little wee model railway line in the grass here, this area. You can come and ride a wee miniature steam train or locomotive. It's quite interesting. But there's a, a course here, hiking course. It's, it's a circular route, so you come back this way. It's very dangerous. A young 11-year-old boy was killed three years, some years ago, when he slipped and fell. But it's this view that is just going to blow your mind. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. Oh, I could never get sick of this view. I could look at it all day. Okay, you've seen that. You're asking yourself, what is it? I'm talking about the ring in front of me. Back at the temple, you can buy these little clay discs. Three for 300 yen. And the idea is to see if you can throw them through that. <laughs> the hiking course takes you down through there. I won't do it because I'm, I've not planned and I don't want to. Although, I will come back because there's quite a nice waterfall through there. As I'm doing very good time, I'm going to stop here and have a, maybe some lunch because there's some things at Wazaka that I want to see. Now, the amazing thing about the, well, in particular the Upper Kontaiji Temple, I would estimate it would be around about 620, 625 metres above sea level. And it was constructed in a time when they didn't have the modern equipment that we have to this today. You know, I'm talking about diggers and trucks and excavation and machinery like that. Done with bare hands. Okay. I'll finish off this with the gate.